and welcome to another video. She's back, bright red hair again. Fucking hell, she's smiling. Um, you alright, dude? I'm cold. She's what a shock. She's cold, so she's still moaning. Um, but she is smiling. She is here. She is back. We made it to Lincoln. Uh, second time we've been to Lincoln on the pub crawl. Um, we're going to go and do a different side of the city than we're in at the moment. But a couple of pubs did leave us a message on the post about coming to Lincoln and say, come and visit us. So we've decided to, uh, to, to, to be sociable and come and see them. Uh, and the first of those was this beautiful looking building just here called the Treaty of Commerce. Now this looks well old uh, and it looks lovely. We're right in the heart of Studentville. Um, literally, we just wandered through the university campus, but uh, it all looks nice. So I'm going to get Holly in the warm and get myself a beverage. Enjoy the video. Yeah, this is very nice. Uh, deceptively small uh, inside. A look around. It's definitely an old style. It's a good start. Uh, I think it's fair to say we were a little surprised by the Treaty of Commerce, but it didn't have, it didn't, considering it's close proximity to the university, there weren't many students in there. It was definitely a bit of an older crowd. But nice little pub. Um, right, stop number two is the other one that commented on our status the other day saying, come to us. Uh, we've come through, sort of through the city centre, uh, and that's the other side. We're on a little side street, a little residential side street. Uh, and this beautiful looking little pub here, it's called the Dog and Bone. So that's stop number two for Lincoln. Yeah, what a sweet little pub this is. So it's a little side street one. It's got a little. We're in there. Uh, we're in sort of the. Uh, I suppose you'd call it the old, uh, the lounge shop. Really nice. They're setting up some uh, acoustic music and stuff tonight. Uh, landlord's really friendly. It's a really nice pub. It's dog friendly. Nice little, uh, nice little doggy running around in it. Yeah, top work. Well worth the trip up. Uh, yeah, really nice little side street booze. Uh, a quick little wander down the end of that John Street and turning left brings you to another sort of side street booze. We're in the middle of a. Uh, houses uh, and things but we thought we might as well get this one done while we're here so this one is called the birdcage that's going to be stop three yeah like in here it's another it's a dog friendly place again uh feels really friendly people uh using the place uh, feels like a nice chilled out sort of friday night vibe in here yeah lots of different people the england games on in the other room Spawn. right we, we've arrived in the town part that we're going to spend the rest of the evening in um google maps said we had to walk up something called Steep Hill. And Muggins here didn't listen. I didn't take it at its word that it was gonna be a steep hill. But my word was it a steep hill. Um, it's beautiful, it's cobbled streets. So, so this is our next stop anyway. It is the uh, the Wigan Mitre. Uh, we've made it here. But yeah, just look down there. And this isn't even the steepest bit. Like, just, I have earned my next beer. Wigan Mitre, stop four. Uh, so this building is quite impressive, uh, in fact it's stunning, um, and it's clear to see why now, it's a Red Cat pub company pub. And every single time we find one of their buildings, it is, at, uh, so this is no exception, it, it is, it's a steep old hill if you come up from the bottom, but it's worth the walk, because trust me, it is, it is pretty damn beautiful in here. So we've come out the front door of that, and I'm pleased to say there is no massively steep hill or long journey to this one. Because the Magna Carta, which is our next port call, is just here. We've been joined by Joe, who's a journalist in Lincoln. He's written a story about us before. I'm going to take him around a few pubs, you know, make him part of the evening. <laughs> so stop number five, Magna Carta. So this one's very aesthetically pleasing. It's a Marston's, which surprised me a little bit, but um, bar, bar area and stuff down here. Oh, sorry, but thank you. Bar area and stuff down here, thank you. Oh, it's all very nice, but uh, yeah, I like it. We're doing all right in Lincoln so far. Yeah, sorry, I'm gonna be that guy again. But, um, look at this. So this is, uh, and it is stunning. So yeah, this is the pub we've just come out of, the Magna Carta, and literally there is that right next to it. Lincoln's nice, man. This end of town, once you've got up that hill, damn you hill, once you've got up that hill, this is really nice. So it's 20 yards from the Magna Carta. You can see where it is, just there. I'm gonna step out of the run in case I get run over. 20 yards from the Magna Carta, we come to the White Hart Hotel. Uh, you know I love a good White Hart. I think this will be the 15th or 16th White Hart we've done so far. So it's, uh, it's definitely right up there. Uh, more of a hotel, but you know, hotels have bars. And there's definitely people drinking in there, and I'm about to join them. This place is stunning. Wicked revolving door over there. But it's like, this is uh, one of those like high class, I feel very underdressed bit of it. It's a really high class, really nice vibe. Cocktail, like great Gatsby vibes all over the place. Yeah, I mean, they don't even get started on that. That is pretty damn stunning, that White Hart Hotel. But 
we have found a bar with some live music. There is a rock band found in here, in the, uh, the Lion and Snake. So I'm quite excited about this. Uh, the Lion and Snake is stop number seven so far for the day. But yeah, I'm loving this. Loving this. This sounds great. The, the band sound brilliant. Really good pub this. So the covers, the rock covers. Right now. They are really, really good. Uh, yeah, playing a, playing rock. Uh, and, uh, Harry Kane has just scored the second goal for England against Wales. They should play Rocky like a Harry Kane. <laughs> I'm here all week. I'm not. I'm here for about ten minutes. But I'm on YouTube all week. I don't know. Yeah, really good pub. Yeah, Lion Snake. Really good. Uh, really good food. It feels like feels like a proper boozer. Like it. You know what I mean? When there's a live band band, I don't want to leave. Like I love a I love a good rock covers band. So we slowed down, and that's that's going to be our downfall tonight. We slowed down because there's a live band playing. Um, so now we're going to start missing some of those. So pretty much next door, they share an outdoor garden just there. But pretty much next door is Prince of Wales Inn. Uh, so that is going to be stop number eight of the day. I'm just getting taken out the road. I'm like it's like I'm, I'm like I'm a child. So anyway, get led away. Uh, yeah, Prince of Wales next up. I really like it in here. This is another like this feels like an old school pub. This night. She is um, she is doing an absolutely blinding job. But it's uh the old stone walls and everything in here. Like this feels like big old room and about a really good pub. Uh, and I've got a gamma ray. Love a good gamma ray. How good is she, man? I could have sung this with her, you know. Could have volunteered. Seriously, as a singer, she was absolutely wicked, uh, and we should definitely duet. So if you watch this video, me and you, we'll do shallow together. Uh, yeah, that was yeah. She's she's proper wicked, but it's a it's a one minute walk down the road. Duke William Hotel. It's got rooms above. It's not really a hotel, but I'm literally in awe now. Go, look at this. Look at this. I'm so opposite. Lincoln has got some absolute beautiful buildings, man. I'm just loving it. We're having a great night. This one is beautiful. It's like it's all stone inside and everything like that. This is an absolute beauty of the pub. Like seriously, um, some of these rooms. It's just. Look at this old cash register, look. This is just, this is beautiful. And I do mean beautiful. Um, wow, it just goes on and on and on as well. It just keeps going. What a lovely pub. Seriously, as a singer, she was absolutely wicked. Uh, and we should definitely duet. So if you watch this video, me and you, we'll do shallow together. Uh, yeah, that was, yeah, she's she's proper wicked. But it's a, it's a one minute walk down the road. Duke William Hotel. It's got rooms above. It's not really a hotel, but I'm literally in awe. Now again, look at this. Look at this. I'm so opposite. Lincoln has got some absolute beautiful buildings, man. I'm just loving it. We're having a great night. Here we are from uh, from Brew York, uh, and it's called Juice Forsyth. You know, like Bruce, but Juice. And it's, it's pretty fucking special, right? Brew York. You can't go wrong with Brew York. You never go wrong with Brew York. Up the juice floor side. Joe's still hanging in there. It's not normally a drinker, but it's doing alright. Sort of, anyway. It's doing alright, sort of. So, a little walk down. It's, it's, it's side street, technically, from where we've been, but we come to the Strugglers Inn. I'm pretty sure this is one of the most named ones on our post when we said we've come to this end of Lincoln. Everyone's like, make sure you got the Strugglers Inn. So, you know what? I came to the Strugglers Inn. And this is plot number 10 of the night. Not that bad so far. Doing alright. So yeah, this is this is a real ale pub. They have got ten, ten real ales on. I don't think I've ever been in the pub that's got ten real ales on. So that is impressive. Like this, like, like, it is, it is impressive. Um, Bump pub, as you can see, is absolutely rammed, and it's, it's literally why good beer, good staff. Um, yeah. It's, yeah, I see why people said, make sure we don't miss this out. So, that's a pretty wicked, like, 10 real ales. I've never seen a pub that's got 10 real ales on the bar. Uh, right, just around the corner from there is the Victoria. Um, this is like a nice old boozer and stuff as well. Uh, it's 10 to 11, so we're hoping that they're still serving. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I mean, they, on a Friday, they're up until 12. See, plenty of time. They even are worried. So the Victoria is stop number 11 or 12? I don't know. You know better than I do. Victoria. Look. 
is the kiwi. I found a dog. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not going to find a dog. Uh, yeah. Gamma rounds up. Uh, and the tiger, and the tiger on it. Yeah, it's good. Uh, yeah, this, this is the number. This is a really good boozer. Feels like there's a really decent mix of people here. It's dog friendly. Uh, what more could you want from a Friday night? It's up until twelve. I like pubs that are open past eleven. Always gives me time to get. So we we come out of the Victoria, and uh, I'm just stood there, not doing anything, not looking behind me. And Holly's like, "Look at that behind you," and behind me. Is literally, like out of me, is Lincoln Castle. And just look at it. Just look at it. Like the backdrop of everything around here is absolutely stunning. Wicked, wicked, like, city this is. Lovely place. So, honestly, that hill is almost as ridiculous to walk down as it is to walk up. Look at it, look at it. I walked down it and I feel tired even having walked down it. That hill is pretty ridiculous it's pretty, even walking down it is terrible but right so we have reached uh the straight and narrow which is going to be our last port of call for tonight it's apparently a cocktail bar uh, and joe reckons they might 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 rival lincoln jazz cafe uh for uh the best pina colada in the country so far so i, I can't really turn that down i can't i can't say no to that so we're gonna that'll be 12 12 for a friday pretty respectful after what i did yesterday you know yeah i did, I did a lot yesterday so you know but yeah, Lincoln, bang on. I, I quite like the, the older top end of the tennis banging. Really good. But I'm going to be honest, so far in this straight and narrow, I'm reasonably impressed. But look at this, right? The thing here called the narrow pages. And here, you can lift up the foot, you can dial, you can dial in what you want, you bring it to your table. <laughs> New idea. Joe has bigs this up to be the best pina colada I'm going to taste anyway. So to be honest, let's have a look at it. It looks pretty good. It looks impressive so far, and I'm impressed. But we're going to do a taste test together. So here we go. So this is the pina colada, the straight and narrow in Lincoln. Does it rival Lincoln Jazz Cafe? Let's find out. It does. It does rival Lincoln Jazz Cafe. I will get back to you on a verdict when I've done the whole thing, but yeah, it's um, yeah, potentially we we might have a contender. Also, point out that Holly's uh, Holly's porn star Prosecco martini, star. the Prosecco shop, comes in its own special little bottle. I feel that like I'm sneaking out. You probably are sneaking out, there. right? But it, yeah, I mean, so far, what's the verdict on it? It's nice. Nice. Even if you like it. Nice. You know, Holly, she's so descriptive with her wording. It's nice. Nice.